My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So today is Valentine's Day and Howard went and picked up dinner for us. We both got the same exact thing, um, hibachi chicken. So let me show you what came with that meal. So it came with a side salad and then we ordered two appetizers. We ordered a Korean pork belly. It doesn't look like what we thought it was going to look like. We thought it was gonna have sauce on it and so forth. So anyway, we got that. It's a new place for us. And then we also got an order of spring rolls. The dinner came with an onion soup, which is right here. And then you can pick fried rice or plain rice. We both got fried rice. And then here is the chicken. Let me get it open. So here's what the chicken looks like. And then it came with a bunch of different types of sauces. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having beef short ribs. So in my pantry, I had two packages of this Korean barbecue seasoning mix and each package seasoned uh, one pound of short ribs. So. Um, that's what I did. Howard actually grilled out these short ribs. So I didn't feel like the seasoning by itself had a lot of flavor. So I added this Korean barbecue sauce in as well. And Howard and I tasted the short ribs and they are very good. Along with the short ribs, I uh, stir fried some fresh broccoli. And the seasoning that I used is this and also some um, onion salt. And then I had some leftover white rice in the fridge, so I decided to make some fried rice. And this is a seasoning mix that I used. Um, I've talked about it a lot on our channel. And I just added in some green onions and shredded, shredded carrots as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having orzo pasta with spinach and Parmesan. This is a recipe that I have made on our channel before. We really like it a lot. I'll make sure to link that recipe in the description box. The only difference is that this time I added in some fresh mushrooms. I sliced them up and sauteed them right along with the spinach. And then on the side, we are having panko shrimp from Costco. It is really good. Um, I have talked about this shrimp before on our channel. We just tried it recently, um, but it is really, really good. I just cooked it in the air fryer. It's probably my favorite panko shrimp on the market. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So I am making taco salads for dinner tonight, and this is a taco seasoning mix that I used. I have had this forever, and I finally just finished the last of it. You all know um, how much I love Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix if you've been around for a while. But anyway, I just prepared the taco meat according to package directions, and it may seem simple, but all I do is just add a couple of heaping tablespoons of salsa and I am using the Aldi restaurant style salsa. It just adds a lot of flavor, especially if you don't add onions and peppers and things like that to your taco meat. I've been doing that for a while and it just makes such a difference. So you just stir in a little bit and uh, just let it continue to heat and it is delish. Okay, so here's our taco salads. This is Howard's plate. He has um, lettuce, ground beef, cheese. The cheese is actually a white cheddar cheese and he also has sour cream. Here is mine. I have the same thing except I do not have sour cream on mine. And if you've been with us for a while, you know how much I love these taco salad shells. Here's what they look like. Um, they're kind of hard to find in my area. So when I do run across them, I buy a bunch of them and stick them in the freezer. I've never had a problem with freezing them at all, but I don't think I've ever opened up the package to let you all see what they look like. I don't think, I can't remember. But anyway, they come with formers, four formers and then four shells. Now it says that they are flour tortilla shells. I just want to show you the texture because they don't exactly look like, sorry, here it is. They don't exactly look like a traditional flour tortilla. As you can see, there's a bunch of little holes in there. 
and they're just lighter and flakier than a regular tortilla. So that's what they look like. And then I decided to make some fudge brownies. I have a bunch of different like baking mixes in my pantry that I needed to use. And so this is a small one that fits an eight by eight pan. And so I decided to make them in muffin tins because I prefer the corners of a brownie. And from my stash, I use these candy pecans. I chopped up some and put them on the bottom of the muffin tin. And then I also had some mini um, peanut butter cups that I added in as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So today I'm trying out a new recipe for creamy cabbage soup. In my pot here, I have some chicken broth and some onions. I'm adding in some cabbage. And by the way, of course, I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. And I am adding in some carrots and some celery. And I'm just going to let this come to a boil and let the vegetables get nice and tender. In the pan right next to me, I have some butter melting. As soon as that is melted out, I'm going to get started on a roux. Okay, so I have my flour and butter mixture right here. I added in some salt and pepper. I did accidentally let my um, roux get a little bit too brown. It's not what I was planning on doing. But to that, I'm getting ready to add some half and half in milk. And I'm just gonna let this come to a simmer and thicken up just a little bit. Okay, so I've got my vegetables boiling and they've gotten tender. Now I'm just adding in my cooked ham. And I am going to add in that um, cream and milk mixture. And I am just going to let this uh, continue to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm just gonna let it simmer. So here's the soup. I tasted it. It is really good. I like it a lot. I will definitely make this soup again. It's creamy and um, rich and hearty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.